In today's video, I would like to share something with you guys regarding these Pentagon networks that I think is going to absolutely blow your mind. I know I've said that before. I hope that I have delivered in the past. This one, I know when I found it, I just sat there absolutely jaw open and couldn't believe it. It has to do with something completely different that other channels have covered on YouTube. There is this strange anomaly off the coast of Malibu. It's actually closer to a place called Mugu Point or Oxnard. Now, this network that I'm showing here is what we call the Polynesian Network. In French Polynesia, actually just to the, uh, I guess you would say, northeast of it, is this place called the Marquesas, made, of course, popular by the song from Crosby, Stills, and Nash, The Southern Cross. One of the islands, and just as an aside, all of these islands are given their name by the locals based on some part of building a home. This particular island gets its name from the part of the home that they call the Long Ridge Pole. That's the thing that goes overhead that holds up the roof. And I think that's important because there's something that correlates with these islands and Easter Island that I'd also like to show. But real quick, the blue lines, the light blue lines, are specific to French Polynesia. This white line is actually part of the Stargate network. That is, of course, where we found down here in roughly the 6 to 7 o'clock region of Antarctica, if you're using the um, peninsula of Antarctica as noon, down here in this area that we've also called it's the Mertz, well, we didn't call it, it's actually called the Mertz Ninnis Valley, where we have found all of these different things. We found this Stargate with the supports. We see the, I guess for lack of a better term, backblast area here. We see the, the walk up here to it. And then, of course, just off to the side, we see this platform that shows some kind of a device that you would use to probably operate it. Now, so many other things in this area that you just cannot explain. Um, this is one of the best ones. I don't know how anybody looks at that and sees anything other than what you would think. I mean, you can even see the sickle, the black hood. Anyway, but if you take that line out coming out of the Stargate and you follow it, through, sorry, wrong one. Let me get the globe squared away here real quick. Hold on. Okay. If you take this line out of the Stargate network and go up to French Polynesia and follow that straight line through, it takes you all the way and connects to our northern network here in Iceland. But guess where it goes right on the way? I kid you not just a matter of feet from this strange anomaly off the coast of California. Now, they call it the Malibu anomaly. Um, Malibu's over here. Uh, this is Mugu Point. Uh, I believe this is a Navy station right here called Mugu. And this is Oxnard, so it's actually closer to Oxnard. Now, some of the people that have uh, showed this anomaly, this strange platform anomaly, have done a little bit of enhancing online, and I really wish they wouldn't do that, because it destroys all the credibility. Now, real quick, this is the uh, wiki on the island of Hiva Oa, which is the hub of the Polynesian network, and this is where it talks about, uh, according to local religion, the gods created the Marquesas as their home. Therefore, all islands have names that are related with the building of a house. Hiva Oa means long ridge pole. Now, who remembers these? These are the Moas from Easter Island. That's way over by South America, I know. What does it have to do with this? Well, they have a very distinct look to them. They have the very sharp, pronounced uh, jawline. Their mouths are always closed in kind of a frownish kind of look, um, large pronounced nose and brow ridges. Now, these are the tiki's from the Marquesas, and they look very, very different. 
giant googly eyes. Um, the hands almost seem like flippers. This is a better image of one. The eyes are just kind of slits here. The mouth is kind of in that same um, genre of just no expression, or if any expression at all, kind of one of disdain. But I found one of these images that showed me something that I think can explain this, why these would be so different. Now, this was also found in the Marquesas, which is really strange, because this is, of course, a moa from Easter Island, which is thousands of miles away. It's this one. I want you to look really closely at this. This guy here in the middle. Let me see if I can zoom this in. Hold on. All right. Do you see the jawline? Do you see the kind of frown? But then all of a sudden, up here, you see the big googly eyes and all this. I wonder if this is a helmet. If this is some kind of a device used for underwater or maybe even space travel. Because if you see the one on the, on the right here, you see kind of the same thing. The same expression in the lower jaw, but just over the eyes and nose. Some kind of helmet. With even, you can almost see fasteners where they would show show ears here. And this one is, is really indicative of this because when you look at this one, you have the big googly eyes and they have what looks like what would be a reinforcing seam. And then you see the mouth and jawline that looks just like a moa. Almost a serpentine-like look, but when you look at the arm here, this looks like something out of some kind of armor, but then, to be discreet, some type of mammalian features. Female mammalian features. Ugh. See if I can speak English today. But you get the idea. I wonder if this is what they initially saw. And that these two are connected. Now, real quick, let me show you what they have done to um, enhance this kind of stuff online. It doesn't look like this. In If you go to Google Earth Pro, there's a function in Google Earth Pro where you can exaggerate elevation. And they've done that here. They've used that exaggerate elevation feature to make these pillars right here seem taller than what they are because just in the normal it looks like this now I'm not saying it's not a base I'm just saying that they didn't have to go through all of that to show that this is something very very strange and very odd now they missed something though and this line here that comes out of the uh, Polynesian Network. It also goes very, very close to Groom Lake. I mean, generally speaking, that is. But down here farther, there is something called, some area called, pardon me, Islas San Benito. And very near it, you see these tunnels these structures that go what look like underneath ground, I mean, deep, deep underground. All through here. Some smaller, some larger. But there's a very weird anomaly in these islands I wanted to show you guys and kind of get your take on it. In this passage between these two islands, there are two locations where there are these vortices. Now, I know this is a rock, but look, do you see how the all of the, the waves all propagate out from this one center point right here? And there's another one over here that does the same thing. Now, I know some of you are saying, well, it's just the way the wind blows and that's how it looks. Really? Let me show you historical imagery. 
Not here, apparently. I mean, I guess it may or may not have been a windy day, but I've seen all sorts of rocks around islands that don't create this. Like here. We see the waves, and they just go by the island, whatever direction they're going. They don't create some type of vortex. But over here, we have two of them. We have a vortex here, and another one here. Very strange region. These two vortexes, I guess vortices, these strange tunnels that go underground, and then just north, we have this, I guess, platform anomaly, for lack of a better description, that lines almost directly up with our Polynesian network and the Stargate in Antarctica. I don't think that many things could possibly be a coincidence. And given that we can also show this network going directly through Polynesia and having a connection to Easter Island, which is right here, by the way, and that connects to the South American networks. Actually, it's right here. Pardon me. It's pretty clear at one time there was some type of a network that connected this entire planet. And through cataclysm or time or continental drift or whatever, parts of this network have been destroyed disconnected, but some of them still are. And this connection between the Moas and the Tikis in French Polynesia, and specifically the Marquesas, I think are uh, indicative of that. That there was one race that built these. And this image connects them right here. I guess I'll just leave that there. Have a great weekend. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.